Hi Stephanie, this is Rebecca with your assignment one changing context critique. So great work changing the context of these original old, old, old photos. You brought some of the oldest photos that I've ever seen actually and uh, they're not easy to work with. I know because there's a lot of information missing because a lot of times they're so faded and um, you did a fantastic job bringing out a lot of nice detail and uh, I think that the story that you told with this image is really nice with all the, you know, bombs and planes and the countryside and everything. It's just a really great concept. So fantastic work there. The only areas I see for improvement on this is, is that um, overall the image is still a bit gray. I mean, I know there's a lot of smoke and clouds and things like that that are gray. Uh, but I'd like to see, you did a great job on them bringing out some nice whites. But there's no true blacks still. It's getting close in the really dark areas like here, but but overall, you know, um, I'd like to see a little bit richer blacks. So you could use your levels adjustment layer and just pull that black slider over until you start to see some deep dark blacks in the in the shadows. And then same with this hillside. The hillside doesn't really need much, much more. Um, because it's already getting real close, but I think that a tiny bit more, if you bring it out in them, you're going to need to bring it out in the background, just a little bit um, in the background. So that'll make the overall image just feel a little bit more three-dimensional. Uh, the other thing would be to add a shadow, like a drop shadow for them. And I know we didn't cover that when we went over this, uh, before you turned in this assignment. So um, it wasn't an expected thing, but Adding a drop shadow would make them feel a little bit more planted. The other thing you could do is you could pull them forward a little bit more and, you know, not include their feet in the image so that they're just coming in in the foreground and then you wouldn't have to worry about a drop shadow. So um, that's something to consider. It's totally up to you. Otherwise, the composition is fantastic. You did a really great job collaging the backgrounds and, um, and like I said, really great choices of imagery. So great concept. Thank you. On this image, uh, I'm just gonna bump it over so it's lined up in the middle a little bit. Okay, this I just love. The, you know, it's such a such a huge contrast between the two because this one's so vibrant and just like juicy with color. Um, and I like what you said. You know, since you didn't know who they were and the images look so old, it just seemed kind of old and dusty. And now it doesn't feel that way at all. You did a really nice job with your um, adding color to their to the people. I love the red in her scarf. It's really nice. And um, these are great choices for a background. I love the really blue sky with the really green grass and these bright reds over here. Just like all this just like candy, pure eye candy the, with all this saturated color. It's really nice. It's a really nice contrast. So um, same thing goes for them. If, the, if you could add a drop shadow or if you wanted to pull them forward a little bit, um, that would be the only thing to get them really planted in the image. Uh, let's see where are the shadows coming from. So they're coming, they're falling off of the objects in this direction. So their shadow would fall this way if, if they, if you were to give them a shadow. Um, but other than that, keep these fantastic concepts coming. Great choices of imagery. Good job blending things together. And um, I just really love what you've done here.